Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, please forgive us of our sins, Lord, see and unseen. Father, we just thank you, we praise and worship, we give you all the glory. Father, we just thank you for the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Lord, we love you. We thank you for choosing us in spite of, Lord. We, we love you, we praise you, and we, we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, called Bust a Move. Bust a Move. The subject text was um, uh, Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. And, and it says, Now the Lord said to Abram, uh, Get out from among your country, from among your family, from among your father's house, and go to the land that I will show you. This city we have called Bush the Moon, pastor of this church, where I came to realization that uh, God is uh, saying it's time for us to move in a direction that he has called us to, but we have certain things that, that, that tend to uh, stop us from moving in God's direction. We started off, we talked about, okay, the, it's, it said, now the Lord said to Abram, we, we, um, we got to understand and find out that uh, we know the Lord speak, but also Satan speak as well. Right. So we, uh, we talked about how Satan spoke to Eve in the garden. We gave, we gave them signs on how, uh, how we know that it's Satan uh, uh, versus when God speak, and, and the first thing we know that when Satan speak, when he told her, uh, when we, we told her, uh, uh, did God uh, really say uh, uh, you would uh, uh, die? And uh, we, we said the first thing Satan comes to do, uh, the first thing he comes, he, he comes to come against the discipline of God. And we know the Bible says, uh, spare the rod, spoil uh, the child. And we all came to agree, so nobody like keeping a spoiled child. And the Bible said, press down shall men give into their bosoms. And, the, and God is saying the only way that we, we're going to receive the blessing is from other men, uh, the, at least the, the, uh, the, uh, the material blessing. Uh, um, so, so, but how? No, nobody wants to bless you if they can't stand being around you. Uh, and God, and God, and God, and God, and God, God is, is telling us uh, we we need to uh, bust the move, get out of get out of having a bad attitude into a positive attitude, get out to a negative situation and get into a positive uh, situ uh, situation, um, 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 get out of negative finances to a positive. Uh, fi bust the move. It's, it's funny how we want to do more things, but we don't want to bust the move. We don't want to leave the place of comfortability and fam familiarity of being familiar your place I'm sorry um, and, and we see here in Abram Abram was was an awesome person that we can understand if we know anything about uh, Abram's situation Abram uh, was, was was in a place called Haran Haran and we and we talked about last week that a place called Haran the, 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 the country the city mean it means to be it means being parched being parched, and we, and we said last week that it's funny how we as believers uh, want God to, to, to rain on us and, 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 and open up the floodgates of heaven and let it rain, uh, 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 but, but, but we're still willing to stay in a parched place, and the word parched means to be thirsty. So, so God is saying there's a lot of believers in churches, in homes, in marriage, in places that they are thirsty, that they are being parched when God has told you, I need you to move in this direction. I ain't telling you to be divorced, but I'm telling you, be submissive. How do you expect a marriage to work uh, for God to move if you don't be submissive? Yeah. Um, there's also a scripture that says, that say, it says if the husband's not saved, I will, uh, if you are saved and the husband's not, he said, I sanctify that person uh, because of your relationship with me. And God, God, God says, it's, it's funny, it's funny how uh, uh, believers are not taking him at his word, are not activating and walking and busting the move inside of his word. God is saying, uh, if there, let me change the situation, not you try to change the situation. Uh, so, but now a part. So we talked about how country. A uh, thing about I, I heard this statement uh, when people said before Donald Trump won. They said if Donald Trump won, I'm moving. I'm moving to Canada. I'm getting up out of here. I'm moving. And and, and so so um, the first thing God told uh, Abram is to get out from your country. And we like why is it get out from your country? Why you won't just tell me just to move out, go somewhere else? But why do I have to get out from my country? Out from my country because we understand that if we're in a country, we are held to their delegation and their laws. So some of us are in ministry. Some of us are in, in old traditions or, or, or things that or, or traditions asking for uh, a new blessing. But God said you have to get out your old ways. The Bible says He says I cannot pour new wine skin, a new wine into old uh, 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 wine skin because it would bust. So God said, I, God, God said he cares about us so much. Uh, he said, I, 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 want, I, I, want, I want you to be in a position that you can hold a blessing and not waste the blessing. 
So, so, so God, so, so that's that. So God is saying, now in this season, it's time for us to bust the move. It's time for us to come out of our old ways. Uh, uh, therefore, we have become a new, uh, a, new, a new man in Christ, a new creation. God is saying, I, 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 I need you to move from that place to this place because everything you've been praying for is not here. It's over there. So God say, in order to get there, you need to bust the move from here. So God is saying, no matter how we feel about the situation, I need you to get from among your country because your country, you see, God, God said, uh, see, you understand that people say God don't force his, his relationship. God is, it's about to say he's a free will. We have a choice. So God is saying, the reason why I believe Abram had to get out from his country was God said, I can't impose my, my will, my laws. I can't impose my government on, upon them uh, but because but because I, I'm, I'm not forceful, God. He's, 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 he said the Holy Spirit, he, he stands at the door knocking, knocking. He said, he said, if you open the door, I will come in and sup with you. God said, I'm not a forceful God, but I, the God said, so first he said, I had to get you out from the country. And one thing I, I, I've learned, it's time for us, the people of God, to be a nation. And, and, and it weren't the, the nation, the word nation is nation is a, a, is, is a group, of in, group of individuals who believe the same thing. It's different than a country. It's different than the country. So, so God is saying, uh, uh, so they'll say the nation of Islam. And, 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 and that's what brought, brought it to me. I, I said, uh, it's not called the country of Islam, but it's called the nation of Islam. So what they're saying is everybody believe the same thing. They ain't no Baptist. They ain't no Methodist. They ain't no, they, 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 they ain't no Presbyterian. They don't pray. There's a nation of Islam. So God, God is saying, if the nation has started with us, why have we not been acting in a nation way? God is saying, I'm, I'm, God is saying, how come ministries have been acting? Acting as if they're a city, but not a nation, because uh, because the, the, the Bible said uh, we must be on one accord. On one, the, Bible, the Bible also said that on a day of Pentecost, they were up there on one accord. They was up there as a nation, a nation, and the Holy Spirit came in like fire. So God is saying, some of us got situations in our life that need to be burned inside of us, our hearts, our, our, our hearts, there's sickness and things that need to be burned. But God said the Holy Spirit only came when they were on one accord. So you wonder why the ministry won't work. You wonder why things are happening in the house because there's not, you're not on one accord. We need to become a nation, not a country. For some reason, we have let the world democracy come into the church when God, when God said, I am the government. That's the reason why things are not, not, are not, are not are the, but the one thing I like about it, the one, the one thing the government shows you. Uh, the government has have, have found a way that the government also provides assistance. That's a good thing. So, so, my, so this is my thing is, so if the government, a, a worldly system can provide, uh, provide assistance, what more can God do? So, so some, some of us are satisfied with, and there's nothing wrong with that, Lord, I would, Lord, no, wish, I, wish I could get me some food stamps. Lord, wish I could get them. Uh, 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 I'm with food stamps, but, but, but what about the blessing that can God, the Bible, the Bible says, he said, I'll give you a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. See, the one thing about food stamps, you have to wait to the next month to get it. You have to keep relying on next month after next month to get it. But the, the thing about God is I give you a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. So that's why you ain't have to wait till next month to get this. This, this blessing is going to take us from this, from this point to, to, to the end of the year and forever. So for God's sake, it's time for us to bust the move. How many of say, I'm, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. So for God's sake, if you're tired, then go get some rest. Go get some rest. So stop. If, if, that, if, that, if that person, that ministry, that thing is making you tired, God said, come to me. Uh, he said, he said, come to me. I, and all you who labor, I will give you rest. So with Bust the Move, we talked about a country. God said he wants us to become a nation. So move from being a country mentality to a nation mentality. We all believe the same thing. There's no Baptist, there's no uh, Pentecostal, there's no holiness. It's all in, it's all in, it's all in one. It's all in one. Uh, so so now we, uh, the next, the next situation we're moving into uh, for Bush to move, uh, that God wants us to move from. So he wants uh, Abram to get out of a country and go start a nation. He said, he's, 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 I will go make you great. He said, I'll make the, uh, 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 your, your, your sons will be uh, as a multitude of the same. So God, so God is saying, in or, and so God, God is saying, in or, uh, I'm going to take you from a country, but I'm going to make you a nation of people that believe the same way I believe, and miracle signs and wonders are going to begin to happen. It's time to bust a move. It's time to bust a move.
And then now, now the next statement uh, in, 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 that, uh, uh, in that text, uh, Genesis 12, 12, chapter 1, it says, get from your country. And he said, I want you to get from among, oh, now this is going to bless you. Get from, I want you to get from among your family. I've, 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 I've seen one thing that we do know, a family can bless us or a family can hurt us. Uh, uh, I, I know just like me, just like you guys out there, and you, you in here, you know, that you've been to ministries that 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 was just that was that was so that was so family uh, that was so family ran that you asked where was God, and then you went to a ministry where where, where was God where, where it was being ran preached, but there was no family atmosphere, so we needed both. We needed both, but he said, get from among your family. And I'm like, God, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I, I know his family got his back. Come on, he was born into this family. They knew they, they knew what he, they knew who he was before who he was. You know what I'm saying? This is what his family, they got together. His cousin, Pookie Johnny, uh, 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 Keisha, they, they, they know him. When, they, when he got into a fight in high school, he, they were right there fighting. Now, I know you don't want him to leave, Keisha. I know you don't want him to leave, Jimmy, but leave his family? Bust a move from his family. And, 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 and seriously, he said, okay, well, um, well, why do you think God told him to leave his family? Why did you think? Why do you think God told him to leave his family? I want and I want to uh, 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 go to a scripture, Genesis chapter thirty-seven, verse one through ten. Genesis chapter thirty-seven, verse one through ten. And this is the reason why. This is the reason why I believe God said, "Hey, brother, I need you to get from on your family." And that takes us to a very familiar story of Joseph and his brothers. Joseph and his brothers. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to take you guys from verses. Uh, uh, let me see. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go from verse 3 to 10. Uh, he said, Now Israel loved Joseph more than all the children uh, because he was the son of his old age. Also, he made him a tunic of many colors. But when his brothers uh, saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him. And could not speak peacefully to him. Uh, now Joseph had a dream. And he told it to his brothers. And they hated him even more. Uh, verse 6. Uh, so he said to them. Please hear the dream which I have dreamed. Verse 7 says. There, there we were. Uh, uh, abiding sheaves in the field then behold my sheep arose and also stood upright and indeed your sheaves stood all around and bowed down to my sheep and, and, and verse 8 and his brother said to him shall you indeed reign over us or shall you indeed have dominion over us so uh, uh, so uh, so they hated him even more for his dream and for his words. Then he dreamed still. Uh, he dreamed uh, still another dream and told it to his brothers and said, "Look, I have dreamed another dream, and this time the sun, the moon, and the eleven stars bow down to me." Uh, verse ten says, "So he told it to his father and his brothers, and his father rebuked him and said to him, "What is that that this dream that you have dreamed?" Shall your mother and I and your brothers indeed come to come to bow down to the earth before you? So now we have we so now we have so now we have here we have here uh, God to God to Abraham to get from among his family and I and I, I believe I believe these these were some of the reasons why he said looking at the story of Jacob the one thing uh, one thing family does uh, is in, in, in verse in uh in, in, in verse uh in verse three. It says, now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age. Also, he made him a tunic of many colors. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I believe God wanted Abram to leave his family house because of the pressure. Mm -hmm. The pressure. Okay. See, 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 sometimes not the pressure, not from God, but the pressure what family put on you. I don't know about y'all. I know some people out there where, where, where you feel like that you got, you got some brothers that, 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 have, that feel some type of way about you because when you were the baby. Uh, uh, you feel like mama paid more attention to you. Mama came to more games than they, 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 they games you came to my game. Uh, 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 mama looked more to you. Uh, see, uh, see, sometimes uh, we, we, we need to figure out, we need to understand as, as parents, as parents that we need to fi find how to balance uh, how the way that we appreciate our children because that, that, cause that could cause a rival, that can cause pressure. I have to succeed. I have to go this because mama depended on me. Daddy depended on me. Uh, mama want me to do this, but mama need to understand 
understand that God has a life for me, uh, has a life for me that, that, that I only can live the life that God has given me. It's good to have expectations, but don't put that pressure on them. And I believe sometimes parents put pressure on their, on their children because they're free, cause they're, cause they are too afraid to, to go fulfill their dreams. So, so we understand some of the pressure. I believe God won't able. I don't want you to go through this pressure because because this pressure on. So, uh, verse uh, Romans chapter two verse eleven. It says that God is not a respecter of person. God is not a respecter of person. And I like the, another part. He, he said, and his father made him a, a special tuning. Oh my God! Did his father set him set him up to be hated by his brothers? He wasn't. He wasn't trying to. He was just trying to express his love. But see, sometimes we, I mean, we, we as fathers, uh, we as parents, we, we uh, find, uh, understand that some situations, uh, some of our, our situations that we love them so much uh, uh, also uh, 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 put a, a, a brain, uh, bring hatred to them and they didn't even do nothing. So now, then it speaks to me. So, so basically, so what I'm saying is uh, some of us parents got generational curses that bring things to our children. We got generational Curses that 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 that, that 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 we bring into our children that we need to be man and woman up to break, and so we don't add that pressure to our children, our children that that pressure. And then also, uh, uh, verse four, I, I won't read again. Verse four, it said it's talking about how his brothers begin to hate him because of the tuning and because he thought having having So the first thing I believe God wanted Abraham to leave because he wanted he didn't want him to to, to he didn't want him to go against that. That hatred that, 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 that Abram might get from his family. Oh, hold on. Me, me and you, me, me and you live in daddy house together. Why God called you? You show he you you show he told you that word? Why why God why, why God ain't pick another brother? Uh, why God can say, why? so so God say, uh, I don't want you to go get the uh, 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 the hatred. Uh uh James uh, uh 316. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to James 316. You guys give me give me a moment. Give me a moment over there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What's that? A little help. A little help here. I don't have some hand though. I guess I'm going to have to go to Proverbs. Go to Proverbs 14.30. Because James is sitting hot in me right now. Proverbs 14. Proverbs, Proverbs 14, 30. And it says, A sound heart is life to the body, but envy is rottenness, uh, rottenness to the bones. See, so now, now God, so, so his brothers, Joseph's brother, have become envious of him. Uh, the Bible says, uh, uh, A bad company corrects, uh, uh, corrupts good morals. Uh, so, 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 so God said, I believe God was saying, Abraham, because this call that I have on your life, it's going to cause people to, to begin to hate on you, uh, hate on you to, hate on you to a point that all, that, 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 that could, that, 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 that could cause them to do something that they really didn't want to do. Uh, but, but, but just because they were so envious, they was working in the spirit of envious of you and the call God has on your life, uh, uh, that they're, that they, they might be moved to do something. They might be sorry about it later, but they're going to be moved to do something because of God. So God said, I need you to get, I need you to get out of that church. I, I, I need, I need you to get, to get out of that situation. Like, that, that, that's not moving in the way of God. If you got people envious of you, it's, 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 it's not going to bless your situation. Situation is going to stress your situation. So we need, uh, we understand that, that God was able. I don't need you to be around people that's going to be hatred because all of a sudden you're going to find yourself be, uh, begin to be envious and, I, and I've called you out. Uh, you, you ever been in a situation where you be like, man, I, 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 I really didn't normally have this problem, but as soon as I started hanging around so-and-so, I started standing. I, I started doing this. I, I started doing this. Yeah, but because, because, because now their, their, their character has started corrupting you, has started corrupting us. So, so God said, I, I, Abram, I need you to get from out of there because it's called, and I can't, it's, 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 it's more valuable than how your family may feel. Right. It's more valuable than how your family uh, may feel. And also, I mean, the third reason God, uh, Abram called Abram, he said he wanted to protect the gift. He wanted to protect the gift. Uh, protect, the, protect the gift. You, you can read verses uh, 5, 5 through 9 through that. Uh, uh, in um, um, Genesis uh, chapter 37, verse 1 through 10, uh, when his, uh, Joseph's brothers uh, uh, begin to uh, uh, get mad at him and say, and, and, and like, a protected gift. His gift was interpreting dreams. He was a dreamer. So what, what's what I'm saying? That God has given you a gift. 
God, God has blessed you with anointing. God has blessed you with things to do. But God's saying, don't love that pew seat more than you love the gifting of God. Don't love that your mama went there for 5, or 18, 20, or 30 some years than the gift of God in your life. Some, 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 some of you are at, some of you are in situations right now uh, just because I want to honor my mother and honor my father and, 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 your, and your, your parents going on to see glory. They, they, they going to see glory. It might have worked for them, but God said it might not work for you. So because God said the calling that I have on your life is, 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 is greater than Moses. I, 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 it's Joshua I've called you to do. And we, we understand, understand that God said I need you to move from among of those 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 people uh, that, 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 that don't want to live according to the will of God. I need you to leave. I, I, I need you to leave them alone because uh, I didn't call them. I called you. So God's saying, I understand. I've called you. I've called you to go be great. I've called you to do great and mighty things. I've called you to move mountains. God's saying, uh, God, God, God's saying, you, 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 some, you sitting here worrying about things like, God, why won't that happen? Why won't that, God, God is saying, it's not happening because you didn't happen. So, so, so what God is, God is saying, I need you to happen. To, I need you to happen so this can happen. So, uh, uh, in, 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 in the Old Testament, uh, uh, there was it a prophet Elijah or Isaiah that, that asked, uh, "Is there a man? Is there someone?" And God said, "Is there someone? Uh, is there someone? Is there someone that I've given a gift to? I've given you the gift to go evangelize. I've given you the gift to uh, preach. I've given you the, uh, the gift to teach. I've given you the gift just of love. I've given you the gift of good personality. I've given you the gift of a good attitude. I've given you the gift to, uh, to do great and mighty things. But yet, still, you don't want to bust the move. You don't want to come to uh, 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 you, uh, that pastor made you mad, so I'm done. I'm not. I'm not going. You don't want to come do the things that God has called uh, called us to do." God wants to protect the gift. That why I believe told Abram, get from among your family. I know you love him. I know you love Uncle Boo Boo Boo. Uncle Boo Boo, he's funny, man. He, when he get to drink, he get to do this. But God say, I'm, I, you're greater than Uncle Boo Boo. God, 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 the, God, God, God is saying, I got great and mighty things for you. So Abram, get from among your uh, family. Get from among your family. Because I'm trying to protect the gift inside of you. And God is saying, I'm trying to protect the gift inside of you. That's why you feel isolated. That's why you feel like Nobody don't want to talk to you. That's why you. That's why you feel like people don't understand you. Because God said, "I'm trying to protect the gift that's inside of you." It's, God, God, God said, "Greater is He that's in you than He that's in the world." God said, I'm, I'm, "I'm trying to get that greater to come out, but I can't get that greater to come out in a parched place. I need that greater to come out uh, uh, in, in a place that I call uh, a land flowing with milk and honey. I, I, that's why I needed to come out." At. So God said, "I believe Abram wanted Abram to go because the pressure." Uh, uh, the hatred uh, um, um, uh, to protect the gift using jo jo Joseph's story about a family and seeing what a family situation I'm, I'm using that is it the pressure of, of, of the pressure of what your parents uh, uh, put on you which what they want you to be and what they want you to do and, and also and, uh, uh, the, the secondly uh, I want you to bust the move out from on your family because of the hatred and thirdly uh, 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 to, to protect the gift the gift the gift and you can you can read uh, 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 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy 1.14. Well, you want to find it, take forever to get it, don't you? 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy 1, 1.14. 2 Timothy 1.14, and it reads, uh, okay. 2 Timothy 1.14, uh, it says, that good thing which was committed to you, keep by the Holy Spirit who dwells in you. So God, that's protect, to protect the gift. Protect, protect, protect the gift. Don't just allow any and anybody uh, uh, to connect with your anointing. Don't let just any or uh, anybody uh, uh, get to get in your circle because don't forget, we still got snakes. Uh, the Bible said, be wise as a servant, be gentle as a dog. He said, I see you out sheep among wolves. There, 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 there's people out there that's, tr that's trying to kill you because they're mad. They can't be in the position that God has called you to. So the, the, the last and the last and final thing in busting a move that God say give from on your family is because uh, I, I, I need you to get from around people who don't understand your future. We we we, we have and that's and that and that, that comes from uh, also uh, don't, so we got we, we got we got uh, 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 Proverbs um, 
Uh, here we go. Uh, Proverbs 27, 27, 17. God said, I want you to get around people who don't understand your future. And, uh, and also, I, I go here while I'm looking for that. Uh, 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 this is New, uh, New Living Translation, Amos 3 and 3. He says, can two people walk together without agreeing on the direction? So, so God, God's saying, uh, just because, see, so God says, so we've got to, Christians, we've got to a point that we've got desperate and hopeless, that we're willing to do something with somebody who told you that I don't, I, that I don't respect you, that, that I, some people who told you that I'm only here for this, um, some people who told you that I don't believe that, but we're willing to walk with them just so we can have somebody sitting in here, just so we can have some tithes and offering, just so we can have somebody in our house late at night, but they told you, I'm only here for one thing. What the, what the, what the, what the, what the dream girls are one night only? One night only. I'm only here. See, so, oh Lord, watch this. So God, 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 see, God is saying we've been trying to, we've been trying to make relationship with people. Uh, we've been trying to make relationship with people that, that's only that's only that's only up for a one night stand. What the what the, uh, what the Maya Angelou said, if it looked like a duck. Somebody, somebody tell you who they are. Believe them. Believe them. And that what God is saying. So to, to, to get from get, get get from people who don't understand your future. Everybody's not going to understand what God is doing. Like so, how can two walk together unless they agree on the same direction? Same direction. So get with God said, get with people. So I believe hey, God said, hey, God, I need you to leave, I need you to leave there because they were serving idol gods in heaven. They were serving idol gods, uh, 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 idol gods. And so God said, uh, uh, I'm, the, I'm the one and true living God, but your family believe in this God. And yet and still you want to hang and touch and agree with them. So now your prayer is null and void because I'm only God and, and I'm a jealous God. I don't share nothing. So we, so we so we have it up uh, uh, Proverbs 27 17 I'm, I'm, I'm done you guys God we bust the move God bust the move in, in my life God bust a move uh, in my life Lord hallelujah Lord we thank you we praise you Proverbs 27 27 17 and it says as iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Don't to get away from people who are around who don't understand your future. So the only people God wants us to be around people, as the Bible says, iron sharpens iron. For some reason, we've been trying to get sharp off some sandpaper. We've been trying to get sharp off some uh, off, off, off some plastic. We've been trying to get sharp off some piece of paper, but the Bible says iron sharp as iron. So why are we connecting with, with immature people trying to do mature things? So now we're saying, God, God, mature us. Mature us. Every, all of us uh, need to be mature. All of us need to be mature. But the only way we're going to be mature, the, the, the Bible says open rebuke is better than love concealed. So I, I don't want to get with nobody. I, I don't want to get with nobody who, who, who love me enough not to tell me the truth. I want to get with somebody who love, who, who love me enough to say, hey, that ain't right. And however you feel about it, you can say what you want to hang around me, whatever it is, but that ain't right. That's I need somebody who's going to tell me, uh, to tell me, uh, no, you was wrong. You was wrong. But I love you, but we can get, but, so let's, let's get together. Open to the Bible. So, so we understand that how can two walk together unless we agree? So God is saying, bust them. If you find yourself in those situations, I'm sitting here in this church, and, and man, we, we, we don't agree at all, but my mama was here. But see, uh, 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 what they say, what they say, what, what might have been good for the gander, not for the goose. You know what I'm saying? So, and so, so just because it was good for them, it might not be good for you. If you're feeling tired, you're feeling parched. You're feeling like, man, I feel dry. I'm in a dry desert place. Uh, but, but I'm here to tell you, can these dry bones live? And the way that they're going to live is that it, the way that these dry bones are going to live, that they get out from the laws of their country. And then they, 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 they get out the, get, get, get out from a farm, among family uh, 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 that put to, that put pressure on you because uh, your daddy was a bitch. You're going to be a bitch. Uh, uh, take the, 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 the pressure off. And then the pressure, the hatred, uh, 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 who wants you to move to protect the gift that's in you and, 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 all, and, all, and also to get away from people who don't understand your future. So all I'm trying, all we're trying to say is here, breath, breath of life, uh, wherever you go, uh, but, but we're hoping that you go. As the point is, we're hoping that you go. So we were time once to analyze where you at and where we all at in that situation. Does this does this ministry put pressure on you? 
Does, does, this, does this ministry cause other people to hate me for no reason? You walking off the church, just because you dress good, you got something certain so-so, she thinks she all that, he thinks he all that. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't of God. Uh, then, then, you ask, then you ask, does this ministry protect my gift? Does, does this ministry let me do whatever and know I'm living a sinful life? That's not protecting my gift. That's only dragging my gift down. No, I'm not living right. See, if they don't know that, but no, I'm not living right. It's still, just because I want the number, I want the image, I want the, the, I want the percep perception that I got it all together. It does this ministry. Uh, 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 does this ministry, this ministry surround people when I tell them ideas, they be like, well, uh, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's of God. Uh, no, 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 no. I, 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 need, I need to get going. So we, we, we're here. Breath of Life Church. Pastor uh, Quincy Ben, First Lady Ben. This series called Bust a Move.